hello everyone welcome back to our channel uh today we are going to take, do a video about taking off substructure work with a corner recess you remember we did another video about how to calculate the center line of a, a, a rectangle with a corner recess now we are going to do a very simple takeoff uh, which involves just a building with only walls it has no columns then uh, the section it's taken AA here uh, this section here it has only the wall and uh, the hardcore here the blinding and the concrete and the DPC uh, this one is not a complicated uh, stuff to take off and actually it will help all those students uh, who have been struggling with getting this concept so uh, we will start we will do this one it's a simple one whenever you're able to do this one which has only the walls now you can graduate to the one which has uh, different uh, types of walls maybe for the external walls is a bit deeper or a bit wider and also now you can go to the columns so don't pressurize yourself if you haven't uh, gotten the concept of taking off kindly just start with the simple diagrams that we give you once you know how to take off the simple ones go graduating go to a semicircle go to the one that has different uh, thicknesses now go to the cavity walls go to the columns like that so don't be discouraged if you have any struggles kindly just take your time um, and I'm here to encourage you in case you have any questions you can see that we are answering all your questions we are actually go through every comment that you make uh, we appreciate all your compliments thank you so much for those who love our videos we are so humbled uh, in case you you just want to compliment us kindly uh, write it in the comment section we appreciate and in case you have any uh, negative feedback about our videos also write we need your feedback that's how we improve so in case you find any mistake uh, or any error in our videos we are just human <laughs> can be just correct us and so that we can learn together anyway uh, we appreciate all your support we are appreciating you sharing our videos to your classmates and your classmates for those who are registering for the exams professional exams we wish you all the best we are here to assist you in case you, we can assist you in any way just reach us reach out to us for those who have asked asked questions and you have not responded to them sorry we have not ignored your questions we are here to answer them we hope we will be able to answer all your questions uh we are working on them uh, especially for those who have asked about the septic tank uh those who have asked about the bridges we are working on those videos and as you know it takes some time to come up with this presentation so we are here to assist and we are here to uh, help you succeed so in case you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly just check right now kindly subscribe that's how you support our channel so let's get started on today's video okay so when you whenever you're taking off uh-huh you, you there's a procedure that you follow uh when you're taking off so uh first of all we do site clearance then we excavate the oversight the oversight is the top soil you remember whenever you clear the site there's some vegetations that you have so those vegetation are held in place by the topsoil. Topsoil is the soil that supports uh, growth. So we shall remove all that topsoil because that soil is not good for construction. So we always excavate the topsoil. And if you see in your notes, you're always told topsoil is to what depth. So you'll excavate like this one you've been told, 150 millimeters. So you'll excavate that 150 millimeters. The next step after excavating the topsoil, you need to see whether you need to reduce the level. What do I mean when you say that we need to reduce the level? We reduce the level because the level where we lay the hard coal is always lower than the ground level so in case you have uh, removed the topsoil and still we have not got to the level where we need to lay the hard coal you know we lay the hard coal where the soil is now very stable all right so in case you we haven't got to that level we need to excavate again so that excavating again so that we can lead, reach the level where we lay the hard coal is called reducing the level so to find out to what depth we reduce the level what do we do uh, this one i'm going ahead but kindly note this 
uh, to find the level, the reduced level, how much we are reducing the level, you will take the total uh, depth of these layers that are here, the oversight concrete plus the ram blinding plus the hard core. If you add all those layers, eh, uh, the depth that it will give you, then you come and subtract the one above the ground, for example, uh, the one that is uh, hard call is 310 plus 75 maram blinding plus uh, 100 millimeters slab. What is the total? 100 plus 75, 175. 175 plus 310, 485. So for 85, you will come and see it's from here to below the hard call. Above the ground, you already have 200. For, 70, for 85, uh, minus uh 200 to 85 285 we removed 150 uh top swing so have we reached the level of hard coal no so we shall find the difference for 85 minus 200 minus 150 and that's how we shall find the uh level of the reduced level okay now let's continue so after reducing the level, we shall excavate foundation trenches. Foundation trenches are usually excavated according to the drawing here. You see in the section, you can see the width of the foundation trench. Like here, it's 600. So we shall excavate 600 all around this building for the foundation trench. Then in the foundation trench, the why it is that wide, it's because of this concrete that we shall lay. Like here, we have already the blinding below the concrete. So we shall lay the blinding first or around uh -huh. we have given the depth of the blinding is 50 millimeters it's the thickness of the blinding then we shall do the oversight concrete this one the v vibrated reinforced concrete whose thickness is 150 millimeters okay so after the concreting we shall go to the uh, foundation walling we shall do the walls all around all around we shall build the wall then after the wall has been built of course we shall uh, return the soil eh? uh -huh. then they have the hard core laying the hard core we shall lay it and compact it then we have the mara blinding on top of the hard core to prevent the concrete from going inside the uh -huh, hard core the spaces to just fill the spaces we do the mara blinding then we have the dpm uh -huh. after the anti-termite treatment you remember you have to do the anti-termite treatment so after the anti-termite treatment we do the dpm after the dpm uh, dpm is the damp proof membrane that paper paper uh-huh that we lay that polythene so after that we lay the concrete after doing the form work form work is laid all around the building so that you can support the concrete in place uh, as we do the concrete Alright, so we have now got the procedure, we'll just start.